Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I don't even want to talk about that last run. We've learned a very valuable lesson about the D4, I would say. Don't even talk to me about that win streak. I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Judas, oh, I'm in a good mood again, because Judas is arguably maybe the second best character in the game. People really, some people at least, take issue with my thoughts on Azazel, you know? Everyone, I'm just typing this, or writing the seed down here. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, of course. 2BCMBL8S as Judas. Or you can play it as any other character if you want to, but why would you? Because Judas is the bee's knees. Okay, I'm almost dead. That's gonna happen as Judas sometimes. That's okay, we'll be fine. Just be cooler for a second here. Sanchez, or you'll get a knuckle supper. Um, I don't know how you can argue. I mean, it is, okay, again, it's a matter of personal preference to some extent. But I don't know how you can argue against Zazel being the most powerful character in the game. His only negative, ooh, take me in and dry the baby. He's got uh, low range. That's the only real knock against Azazel. He starts with three black hearts, but if you can't get one HP up with three black hearts kind of holding you like down for a little while, I don't know, man. You got to work on your your game, you know? How'd you unlock Azazel if you can't even uh, go without taking damage like that for, for like a floor or two? That's it. You know, I, I can understand that maybe you might run into two difficult bosses in a row on the first two floors, and that'll put you a little bit behind the eight ball, but I don't know. Anyway, the thing that more people take issue with is the idea that um, I think uh, Judas is better than Isaac sometimes. I'm, I'm you know... Jury's out on that. I really, really value deals with the devil. I find that most successful runs, you know, the road that they take leads through a deal with the devil. I don't want to take that just yet. And it is the haunt, so this is going to be an important moment. Um, but I'll admit that Isaac, you know, it you got a little bit more leeway when it comes to survival, which is pretty important. But if you can survive as Judas, I mean, like, we are right now in the worst case scenario as Judas. Be on the cellar, fight the haunt. If we survive this, it, it only gets better from here, especially if we get an HP upgrade from this boss fight. Um, but, like, we're, we're, we're gonna be fine as long as we just don't get hit twice here. That's fine. That's not so bad. He's dead. We've learned our lesson. An HP upgrade, and now we're good to go as Judas, and we're guaranteed deals with the devil pretty much for the rest of the game, as long as we choose to... Mm, yeah, this is fine. As long as we choose to continue having a Book of Belial on our personage. I think that's it makes him a very, very strong character, as does that wonderful blood bank there, because we came down here with a little bit of money. I like early blood banks, because it means that you can get yourself set up with more money to, to play the rest of the game with, which is actually pretty important. Uh, there is a tinted rock in here. I'm never going to remember, because it's, it's an enormous floor here, or an enormous room, I should say, and the rock's kind of just like in the middle, so I would very much like to have just a bomb drop right now. That's okay, it didn't happen, at least we have a key. I did, uh, I'm, I'm very thankful we had that battery charge on the last floor so I could open up this floor on that huge room without, you know, getting myself into too much of a nightmare there. Okay, I'm gonna need something to die here. Thank you, thank you. Two bombs. Alright, let's go back. I don't really care about securing a deal with the devil, but it would be very nice to find ourselves in a position where we can. Ooh, get a trinket, and we also got some bombs back for it. And we picked up Swallowed Penny, which is very useful for this blood bank that should make our shop worthwhile, uh, you know, with the assumption that we actually have a key necessary to get into our shop. We, mm, we'll, we'll think about it, because I might not go to the item room first. I might want to go to the shop first if we get... Nah, never mind. Alright. The other thing we should do before we even go into that room is come back here and put a bomb here and say, you know what, we can get a little bit of money out of this in addition to another bomb. That was just a waste of time. It's not that big of a deal. I, I don't really want to buy a red candle. I wouldn't mind buying the piggy bank. Kind of a weird situation where I'd rather buy the piggy bank before we get... Um, playing on that blood bank, because then we could earn even more money as a result, but uh, I don't really care either way. It does make it so that if we buy a red heart for three cents, with piggy bank and swallowed penny, we'd expect to get like eight cents worth of value out of uh, out of that three cent purchase. So, safety pin. And basically nothing. I like the black heart, but apart from that, not that uh, important. And this is the worst deal with the devil you could possibly imagine. <laughs> Let's move along then. Uh, we'll look for the, we'll look for the item room. Again, if we can get the money that we need to buy Piggy Bank, 
before playing the black market that would be great but i don't think that's going to be conceivable for us so let's let's be realistic here i was hoping maybe like pageant boy would drop or something like that x-ray goggles that is free secret room access which i appreciate a great deal still doesn't really do anything for us we got like a sweet you know devo album cover here or something though secret room is here golden poop that could give us enough money um weirdly enough these they do synergize well with one another um, we're gonna try to get Blood Bank to give us a bunch of pennies with Swallowed Penny, then we'll pick up Counterfeit Penny to make the most of our money. It's a very strange situation on this floor, but we've got like a weird synergy working together. I don't really know how Bible Tract works, so I stay away from it because it, uh, it, uh, makes me afraid. Okay, so let's go play our Blood Blank, Blood Blank, Blood Bank, Bud Blilly Blanks here, Blilly Blanks! Okay, don't pick up the money yet though. I gotta go get some more red hearts. This is gonna be a little bit of a long floor. I still think I might be playing... Like, I might want to focus on the Damon Judgments first. I don't know, though. X-Ray Goggles, good item. But I'm hoping to get, like, some serious payout here now. Like, let's... Hmm. Don't pick up the money yet. What is this card? Two of hearts? Joker. Uh, not useful on this floor. I'm gonna have to pick up like one cent here, that's fine. Okay, we got one more. This is okay. There is still more red HP. I'm just gonna blow this guy up though, first. We got a penny out of that. Okay, now we come back here and we'll probably stick with counterfeit penny for the rest of the game just because it's a little bit more valuable than swallowed penny in situations where you don't expect to maybe be hit that much. And with counterfeit penny, that should allow us to pick up a lot of money here. And maybe we'll play the regular Judgment. See how much money we can get out of this situation. We'll probably be like a little over 25 maybe, 25-ish, 26. Okay, with 26 cents, I think we can justify playing this Judgment for a little while. What's up, dog? Tomo, don't try to crash directly into the heat register. That can't be good for you. Judgment. Okay, we'll throw this Judgment down. Maybe we got another Demon Judgment in here. Okay, you're paying out. Okay, this is good. And then I'm not going to worry about the money so much. I'm going to play you two that gives us poison touch and hello I kind of wish the other one paid out earlier because now I can't I don't oh I'll, I'll eat it I'll eat it on the chin that's okay we're gonna stick with this here okay you give me a bomb I'm gonna blow up the key beggar for bombs and keys how fitting now we could go buy the piggy bank if we want to but I can't help but feel that maybe the piggy bank isn't all that important in this situation. And maybe instead, we should just pick up this three cent red heart. Tomo, you gotta cool it, Sanchez. You're good. And Knuckle Supper. Uh, probably you should come up with a more choice reference than that as well. This cat is going absolutely insane. I'm going a little insane myself here. I understand the value in uh, playing the blood bank, by the way. Okay, we also get missing page two. All right, this is your time to shine. Another key. I mean, I'm loving the consumable drops. Another HP. Then we're gonna go hard on you, and we might even be able to get the piggy bank. All right. What a ridiculous turn of events there. Um, because we picked up some spirit hearts, somehow, I'm also gonna go to our uh, curse room, which we can't get into that way, unfortunately, because that's still busted. That's alright, we'll lose our black heart to come in here and we'll get two black hearts back. That's better. Are we gonna buy the piggy bank? I mean, it would make playing the blood banks nicer. Why not? Let's get it. It's not very good, but it's good enough. And we picked up a little bit of money just for getting it, so that's okay. And we, we spent like eight minutes on these two floors. We didn't really gain all that much out of it, but um, sure. I'm not gonna bother playing the black market anymore, or the, the, the blood bank anymore. It's all good. I don't know why, like, the Joker card is only effective to let me get to the boss room early. And there we go, we got Scapular out of it. Not boss room, we let me get to the Devil Room early. We got a free Scapular, um, but it means that we're not going to be able to get Scapular in a, in a moment when we beat the boss anyway. Okay, you should just be dead. I would say don't worry too much about our boss rush room right now. Like, that's something that's probably a little bit uh, on the optimistic side. I really don't want deals with the angel, by the way, but the game kind of forced my hand into it, didn't they, by 
giving me my first deal with the devil and having my first deal with the devil be, um, you know, three red chests, two bom or four bombs, two spiders. That's lovely. What a great combination of items. How did you know that it, what I wanted for Christmas was to be totally fucked? Now, if you guys could just, you know, perish, that would be great. P-E-R-I-S-H, not P-A-R-R-I-S-H. I'm talking about perish like die, not perish like Alan Parrish in Jumanji. Although he did, you know, he didn't die, but he was dead to the world for a little while. This is okay. As far as movies from my childhood that actually hold up, I catch a lot of flack for this. I don't think Space Jam's that good. But I think uh, Jumanji? Jumanji's still alright. You know, Jumanji's got some interesting stuff going on. I am noticing, I gotta say, that my, my keyboard's not responding as well as I would like here. I think maybe someone messaged me on Skype, and in the recent update, maybe it doesn't make it so that uh, Isaac has zero frame rate. Maybe it just makes it so your, your keyboard doesn't respond as well. I don't know if I prefer one or the other. Okay. Blood of the Martyr, that's great. I'm very happy with the damage upgrade, to be honest with you. And, uh, you have a 7 cent item? Why not buy a 7 cent item, right? Mom's coin purse. Alright, so we got a lot of pills coming up here. Health down is not a good one. Lemon party is good. Amnesia is god-awful. What a, what a terrible display. I don't like this at all. Uh, Blood of the Martyr is great though. I mean, would I trade 1 HP for Blood of the Martyr? Yes, but that's not really what it had to be. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what it ended up being. That's not what it had to be. Did they mod the game or patch the game so that you no longer get uh, items out of those rooms anymore? Seems like we're getting screwed just a little bit on them. This is our secret room, I think, yeah. Um, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll play you. We have 8 cents, not quite enough to do anything else in the shop. Maybe enough to get a judgment to pay out. With some HP, I appreciate it. I would like to get, you know, one more cent before the end of the floor. Because that would allow, and keep it, because that would allow us to, uh... Actually be able eh, that would allow us to actually be able to uh, get an arcade on the next floor and with piggy bank the arcade is so good like piggy bank plus artificial And by artificial I mean counterfeit hey that was actually like a fairly if my brain's gonna have a brain fart I'm glad that it had a brain fart with synonyms instead of just being completely wrong uh, I was thinking about using book of Belial here, but since I already got hit and we kind of smoked them with our uh, Black card here. That's okay. To be honest with you, I think we're going to save this health down pill instead of the Magician. Just in case, you know, at some point in the future I end up being actually able to use Book of Belial. Or, sorry, not Book of Belial, but uh, get a deal with the Devil. It's got the same kind of cadence to the words there, you can understand the confusion. So this floor has been a weird one. Um, probably took a little bit more damage than I'd like to have taken. Scapular's gonna show up. How exciting. I wonder where this item is. Uh, we could, you know, bomb these fires for the chance to get spirit arts, or we could try to beat Mega Satan with every character uh, and start with Judas here. But uh, we're not gonna, not, gonna, not gonna worry about that right now. Instead, we're gonna head down to the next floor. Please tell me I didn't take. Yeah, good. <laughs> I still have Book of Allow with me. I was getting scared for a minute there. Like, did I accidentally take the pony? And if so, what could I blame that on to get myself out of this bucket of syrup? At least I haven't forgotten to drop the left hand in a couple videos. Just because I stopped taking it, basically. Because I can't be trusted. Okay. Money's money. And it's worth a little bit more thanks to Counterfeit Penny. Or we get a little bit more thanks to Counterfeit Penny. Which I guess means it's it's on an absolute level worth a little bit more. What am I looking for on this run? Look, I like Scapular. Don't get me wrong. But I, I want that trademark deal with the devil shit, basically. I apologize for the language, but... I, I do, man. Like, uh... It's a weird room. Hey. Uh... We, uh... Have gotten to a lot of deals with the devil. And yet, unfortunately... Well, we've been to one. And yet, unfortunately, I find myself, uh... Not being able to pick up any items. I'm having, like, serious deja vu here. Like, remember when I, uh... When I first started playing Rebirth, and I got Dry or yeah, it was Dry Baby. I thought it was a glitch. I was like, whoa, what's this Necronomicon effect? Those were the days, man. It's been, uh, it's been a long road learning all about Rebirth and the new mechanics, but it's been a lot of fun as well.
and will continue to be a lot of fun. Well, this must not be our item room on the other side because we can actually access it. The reroll everything room, I'm tempted to go to, by the way. There's a lot of great items that we could possibly reroll into. Um, that's not our shop. I don't know why I was like, our shop's over there. I already saw it. It has two locks on it. We don't need to worry about that yet. I would like to go to shop item room. I would like to go to that two key room. Hope it's a reroll room and, and reroll everything. Might just be a bunch of uh, a bunch of chests. That could be okay as well. It's a bunch of C H E S T S, not C H C H E S S. Although a bunch of chess, you know, it could be all right. I used to play a lot of chess back in the day. Chess has a surprisingly strong community online. I thought it was kind of going out of style. I didn't realize that it's also it's, it kind of been uh, well, not I was gonna say modernized, but it's, it's still got a like a big audience, which is great. I mean that sincerely. I kind of wish that I grew up like. Um, Maybe like eight years after I did. Not not that I'm living like a terrible life or anything like that. But I was like holed up in my basement reading like... Um, well, just reading like books that I bought from the bookstore on chess. Playing offline. Probably a lot more interesting to study chess in the modern era. As a child where now you have like... And the internet was around when I was younger. It just kind of still wasn't quite... Uh, as widespread and still like chess scholars were doing uh, you know books I guess they probably still are I forget the guy's name he's like an American grandmaster international master Yasser Yasser something I think was his name his books really helped me out a lot I really don't want another deal with the angel tears plus shot speed sure oh never mind deals with the angel very nice now uh, sacred heart that's a great item I think we've had sacred heart now more in uh, in Rebirth than we've added in Vanilla. Officially. That's not true. But it's closing in on it. Um, people always, you know, whenever I talk about chess, I, I want to get off the topic. Because there's people who are very good at it and I don't want to, you know, invoke their wrath. Uh, but, you know, back when I played, my, my FIDE rating was like... It wasn't great. The guy, the, the highest performance rating I had was like 1700 in one, like, youth tournament. But that was pretty good for me. I, I really liked it. Should go back and play a little bit, but I, you know, my personality gets kind of obsessive. I'm worried I just abandon my YouTube channel or, or start, like, just playing chess on my YouTube channel. Probably a bad idea. Anyway. Plus, you know, with the backseat gaming and Isaac is one thing. Backseat gaming and chess is like an attack on your intellect directly. I'm just gonna give him all the... No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go until we get down to five cents or until it taps out, whatever comes first. That's fine. I still want to go to our shop, and I might not mind going to that double key room. Again, don't expect us to actually be able to get to Boss Rush on this run, and that's fine by me. We don't need to go to Boss Rush on every run. It's not appropriate on every run. I do like to do it when it's possible, especially if you can actually steal an item out of it. Wow, okay. Sometimes Dry Baby, like, works, and I'm like, I don't think you actually got hit there, Dry Baby, and he's like, just trying to help out, boss. Now... Um, yeah, boss rush, goodbye. Where is it? Where the heck is our shop? Did I, oh, I just went to our shop already, you ding dong, what's wrong with you? Alright, we will go to our double key room. The only difference is now if it's a reroll room, we probably won't reroll it, because I have Sacred Heart, which is... I, I feel like I've become a little bit more disillusioned with Sacred Heart now. It's great, but... Well, okay, we don't need to worry about it. It's great, but is it... Did I overrate it in vanilla, or... I, Am I just experiencing an item that's a little bit worse in Rebirth? Because it no longer feels like a, a game-winning item. It changes things. It makes your game nicer, but it doesn't win your game anymore. Maybe it never did. Maybe I just glorified it and rom romanticized it because it never showed up. I don't know. Interesting question, huh? Yeah, little chub. Why not, you know? I think a little chub is is worth our while. Are we really one-shotting these guys? Okay. Well, I gotta say, Sacred Heart plus Book of Belial, uh, plus our other damage upgrades is pretty sweet. And I think we're set up for some cool synergies here. And I'm actually, like, really glad that uh, we picked up those shot speed upgrades now, because it actually makes Sacred Heart a little bit more viable, because it is a pretty big shot speed downgrade, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong there, though. Alright. Dingle is not a problem for us. Without Book of Belial, we're still tearing through these guys pretty quickly, so I'm I'm enjoying that. Excuse me. Yeah, that's right. You give me two cents there instead of one. Don't meow at me, Ruka, okay? I've had enough of your BS for one day. Leaving poops all over the floor. How hard is it not to poop on the floor? 
I have very rarely pooped on the floor as an adult, and if I've done it, you best be damn sure I've got a good excuse for it. But the cats, they don't care, man. Just leaving poops on the ground for no reason. Looking like a fool with your poops on the ground. Got your cat turned sideways. Doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. I'm very happy to have a small rock. Um, I don't know. I, I'm so obsessive about like boss rush. I'm like, gotta get it. Are we still are we still in boss rush ter boss rush territory? If I rushed it down, would I be able to do it? If I skipped everything, would I be able to get the boss rush? And then I go into boss rush, and it's like bomb bag, mystery sack, sack of pennies. Mm, no, thank you. Look at how much money we gain. This is so awesome. Um, because that's already tapped out, why don't we just buy them out here? You know, 9 volt is going to make our Book of Belial that much better, and Mom's Purse is uh, going to allow us to keep counterfeit penny and whatever else might come after. I mean, I've still got to get that out of my head. Eh, it's all right. That, like, um, we eventually have to get rid of uh, our trinket in order to pick up uh, the Polaroid. It's been a while. Since that was actually relevant, I'm not gonna worry about that money that's in the danger zone. I mean, here's the thing: I'm not really using Book of Belial all that much because we don't need to, but we can if we want to. We could leave our friends behind. We're at 30 cents after just spending a lot of money. That is not good damage. The batteries are out of control. Like you're making me feel real bad for not using Book of Belial more often. Okay, amnesia. I can see forever. Bombs are key. Lemon party. You know, I think it's time to say goodbye to that health down pill. We haven't really seemed to find much of a use for it. If you're wondering why I'm rushing, you're going to be mad at me. Because I'm rushing because we have the chance to get a boss rush room. If we go, it's like, stupidly fast. Which is extremely unlikely. But hey, you know, we are going very quickly here. Who knows, maybe we get like a lucky emperor card. We got old bandage for HP and a deal with the angel where we pick up guardian angel. I don't know if I've seen this in rebirth yet. That might be a new secret for us. I think I've seen it, but maybe on a seated run or it's possible I'm full of shit. A lot of these deals with the angel, um, I, I feel like I haven't seen the items because I don't go to deals with the angel that often. Uh, excuse me. I think we're about to give up the dream of our boss rush room. It's okay though. It's worth a shot. No, you gotta, you gotta pa perish. Get out of here, Alan. Perish. What year is it, Dot JPEG? Bean, you're bad, Bean. F off. Why am I so slow? Oh, I hate you. Okay, we'll get broken stopwatch. I don't think this does anything for us. Oh my god, now I'm all the way down here. Yeah, it'll probably do it. Yeah, that's a dead end. My only hope was that this would actually be the right way. Broken stopwatch doesn't do anything for actually like beating uh, the the timer. We really have to find. Oh my god, we might be able to do it. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Goodbye, mom. What is this like? Weird blue mom? Blue mom group? We got ten seconds. We got ten seconds. So we're gonna do it. I can't believe it. Okay, that was unlikely. We'll get that deal with the devil in a second. First things first, just sneak through here. Ares, Infamy, Brother Bobby, Mom's Bra. Infamy's okay. None of these are worth it. If we had to do the achievements, sure, it would be fine, but we've already done it. We skipped a lot of this floor, but we did go to item room and shop, which surprised me. Okay, devil rooms, you have no reason to be this bad. I know we've gotten good stuff, but that, like, from deals with the angel, but that gives you no excuse to give me this bullshit here. All right. Uh, there is a tinted rock. After this, we're going down to the next floor. I'm not mad. Like, we're in a great position on this run. But I'm a little perturbed by the fact that we hit, like, what I would consider a spell of not fantastic luck there. And, of course, yes, there was, like, a... There was a, um... Oh, Skype messages. Skype messages are real. We're gonna have to shut that down. Yes, we are. All right. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Um, we're gonna go here. Okay, we're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry about a thing. It's all right. We're gonna be fine. Could have done boss rush room, or sorry, could have done uh, boss gauntlet room. Could have done blood bank. Could have done many things. But I think our our win is pretty likely uh, for us, regardless. 
I don't even know if that works in vanilla or in rebirth. Like, if there's any point to picking up a, an item and putting it back down. But hey, why not, right? Why not? Why not? Take a crazy chance. Why not do a crazy dance? Hey, Hillary Duff, here's why not. Makes you look like a freaking freak show. Hey, freak show. I don't have a good man, Macho Man Randy Savage impression, as much as I wish I did. Um, that's a good use of Book of Belial. Let's use Book of Belial and then never uh, actually attack an enemy at all. Feeling pretty solid about that. Money equals power would be a great pickup right now. Just want to keep that turret at bay while the spiders do what little work they have. Um, I mean, sure, why not, right? Like, Lucky Rock, it's not that good for us. The luckiest rock is Rockly Smile, because he gets to be with himself all the time. Oh, that's very sweet. First, I was going to say, because he knows me, but then, you know, some people don't realize it's a joke. They think you're being real egotistical. They go, hey, asshole, why are you being such an asshole? I'm going to be an asshole to you, because I feel that you're being an asshole. And it starts this whole to-do, don't worry about it. More bad pills, probably. Lemon party. Health down. Health down. I can see forever. We don't need those. We need the, give me the lemon party pill. I'll take a lemon party pill. It's not bad. Mm, no, thank you. Now I would if you could just give me one deal with the devil that actually had items in it. I feel bad because we're like, I mean we're strong. We're very strong, and we've gotten good deals with the angel. But I would love to trade away just a little bit of HP for like a good deal with the devil. And I don't feel like I'm that entitled for asking for it. I mean. We've gotten so many deals with the angel that have showed, or deals with the devil that have showed up, just none of them have contained anything. Anything of value, anyway, except for like a couple of spirit hearts. And speaking of which, we're at full HP now. We picked up Squeezy. Squeezy's fine. That deal with the angel was meaningless, but that's okay. It's all good. I'm not going to use any keys. As much as a reroll room could be fun at this point, um, we got to think about the chest, because we're going to be there pretty shortly. This has been a very quick run. This is one of the very few runs where, despite being super powerful, I don't feel like I'm being just a, you know, a little entitled uh, twat asking for stuff. Because, think about how amazing the synergies on this run could be if we'd actually gotten the deals with the angel that we are, you know, it's our God-given right with Book of Belial to get these uh, synergies. Where are they at? They're not here. Haven't even had a single guppy item all run. It's bullshit, Ed. Game's broken. Well, we, like... Pretty much broke even there. It's just, it's just fucking horseshit, is what it is. Who even wants to play this dumb game if I can't get Mom's knife and Guppy and Brimstone on every single run? It's so stupid. Why do even people play this dumb game? I'm gonna go play Secret of the Magical Crystals instead. Somewhere the indie developer actually cares about his consumers. God damn it! Golden key. I know. I know you want me to go back, but the finish line's right here. It's right here. I can't. I'm sorry. I gotta. I gotta be true to myself. Thank God. See that to an outside observer, that looks like a terrible trade. Northern Line, why are you happy about that? You traded a bomb for a bomb. The bang, the bang, dicky. Well, the truth of the matter is, I actually laundered that bomb. That was a bomb that I, I had earned through my illicit counterfeit penny ring, and. Uh, now I've laundered it for a real bomb, and when the uh, Binding of Isaac IRS audits me, it's all going to look legit. So we're going to go up to the cathedral. Probably pop Lemon Party against Isaac. I don't see a great reason not to. Let's see how Conquest holds up against the, the spider Sacred Heart rush here. Spoilers, not very well. Tell you what, that HP downgrade pill is looking... Uh, Mighty tempting right now. Broken stopwatch, pretty good. Sometimes it backfires on you a little bit, but that's that's what makes it a more interesting item, I think. You know, it's got a positive and a negative side. If you slow a boss, amazing. If you speed up some really tough rooms leading up to that boss, you might be find yourself in a little bit more of a tricky spot. You never know. We are super strong, even without using Book of Belial as much as I should be using it. It's a bad habit, but... You know, you never know if the next room might be a little bit more difficult. And if we can beat this room without using the charge, why not, right? That's a tinted rock over there. It is pretty sweet to be, like, foreshotting these enemies, though. With Book of Belial. Nearly at the HP cap. And, you know, let's be honest. Pretty good assortment of items that we picked up here. Plus, we started a little overpowered as Judas. I, I'll say it. I think Judas 
E oh, there's another tinted rock back there. Um, Judas is balanced, but if you end up overcoming his HP deficit, which is not difficult to do, or I should say, I shouldn't bring difficulty in. It's not rare to do that, you know? Usually you get an HP uh, up fairly early on in the game if you survive that long uh, in some form of another. Then you're, you're sitting pretty. I don't know if Lemon Party is better than the Devil card, but it's more novel, so I have respect for it. Anyway. It's impossible to complain about this situation. It's a lovely position here. Guppy? I'm just going to come to expect that the Guppy items, the, the Guppy dream is not going to exist here. Room always freaks me out because I'm like, oh, there must be like two horsemen in here. Nope. Just the one. You're really going to make me fight Super Greed? It's just embarrassing for everybody involved here. Uh, I'm going to get all this, but not those. If we get money equals power, I'll be a little salty that I didn't go through the effort and the bomb wastage of getting that stuff, but I don't think we're going to get money equals power. If we do, I would also be extremely happy that we just get, like, an automatic 2.4 damage up. Alright. We actually do have the slow on Isaac here, which is, like, really bad for him. <laughs> means he can't actually hit me. Which is really unfortunate, you know? As a boss, if you can't actually hit your opponent, that makes your life much more difficult, I'd say. In my, you know, expert opinion, it's much easier to kill an enemy if you can actually hit them. That's my philosophy. Curse of the Blind. This should be interesting. Please, nothing that'll ruin my run. Forget me now. Experimental treatment! That can ruin my run, you asshole! My reflection. What are these, like, all run ruiners here? Undefined. Okay. Well, I love Undefined. In fact, we're going to start taking it right away. Yes, this is what I wanted. So Undefined gives us BBF and Growth Hormones. Okay. Now we'll head up to the chest again. And we can pretty much do, like, I mean, not unlimited chests, but we can probably do a lot of chests. We got Curse of the Blind again? Come on now. Book of Shadows. Headless Baby. Okay, that's a passive. Remote Detonator. Eh. Crack the Sky. That's a terrible assortment of items for us. So we did lose um, Book of Belial, and I love Book of Belial, man. I don't feel good about that loss. But life's going to go on for us. You know, we have Book of Revelations. We picked up Growth Hormones. I do, you know, it's a little bit self-serving of me to say this, but I do think that uh, we lowered our damage a little bit with Experimental Treatment. I'm still getting to terms with how Experimental Treatment works. By the way, um, the, the YouTuber who told me that you can actually... Okay, the YouTuber who told me that you can like look at your stats screen uh, after using experimental treatment and it'll update has recently informed me that that is in fact incorrect through through no fault of his own. He was misinformed himself. Um, and in reality, oh, this is a fast room. Uh, in reality, the screen doesn't update properly like past a certain number of seconds or something. I don't know. He's basically like, I'm sorry, my, my information was incorrect. I feel like I gotta talk a lot faster to keep up here. Not Tagalog faster, that's a that's a language I don't speak. Get out of this room, oh my god. Alright. Well, the, the real problem, of course, with our whole unknown strategy here is that we don't have, uh... We don't have any more keys. But we can always get, you know, more uh, error rooms to give us items anyway. It's free items one way or the other. Every extra key we get is a gift. And eventually we'll probably just reach the point where we don't actually, uh... We just don't get an error room. Like, we can get a secret room instead, which in this case gave us an item we already knew about. But we're going to try to play the chest as long as we can, because, I mean, it does make us stronger. At some point in Isaac, you reach a point of equilibrium, which is like, I can't die, basically. Um, unless I picked up something that, like, ruined my run. I don't know that we're at that point yet, but we got to be getting pretty damn close. Because, you know, every room we fight is just is kind of easy. We'll go back for that pill, because if it's bombs or key, that would be lovely. That would really increase our... Uh, our lifespan of being able to go to the chest over and over. Unknown is an item that I have no idea what its strategic value is, but it's, it's for fun value is out of this world. If it works. Bad trip, huh? That's a disappointment. Really wish that we could have a, like a chest without Curse of the Blind. That'd be nice as well. Oh, BBF's coming for you, buddy. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Drop a key, please. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Hey, you, you played by the rules. I appreciate that. 
If you're not familiar with what Unknown does, because I know as soon as it shows up, I just go like, Oh, that's amazing, we got Unknown! Uh, undefined, I should say. It gives you a chance to get... Well, it teleports you to one of the secret rooms. Oh man, that could ruin everything. Uh, it teleports you to one of the secret rooms, including the Error Room. Uh, and if you get to the Error Room on the chest, then you just get to keep doing the chest. Curse of the Blind every time, huh? Anarchist Cookbook is not very good. Lost Contact is okay. So I think Nine Lives might have totally fucked us. Uh, I'll chalk that one up to uh, Curse of the Blind. Admittedly... Oh, what do you got for me here? Mr. Mega. Okay, that's passive. Uh, admittedly, you know, we have... Uh, common Cold now as well. Um, we have a lot of damage. So it's not inconceivable that we still win. Like, I think we could, we could beat Blue Baby without getting hit. But it's going to be a little bit harder to sell it. I think. I love this item. If you come down on this chest run and you don't take uh, Undefined, and you don't have like an appointment that you have to get to ASAP or something like that, what's wrong with you, man? This is what this game's all about, for me at least. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and say that the way I play the game is the way everybody should play the game, of course not. That being said, come on. Come on. Undefined on the chest, man, it's a classic combo. But like it's it's recently introduced, so it's I don't know what's what's a recently introduced sandwich that's popular like the the McBLT or something like that. It exists. Look it up. More keys. Uh, I guess we might as well use these keys on this chest right now because there's some items we have not opened yet. And inside of the chest we find a question mark, which is magic fingers, which is not very good for us, but at least make sure that we don't have to pick up magic fingers again. Uh, that's a bad start there. And this, this floor's been pretty good, you know? Common Cold, Shielded Tears, those are okay. Mr. Mega, it's nice. It helps Mr. or it helps BFF out, if nothing else. Oh, that would probably would have hit me, I think. Alright, let's pop this. Uh, okay. Second secret room, not quite as useful as I was hoping. So you would think, on average, you'd have like a 1 in 3 chance of getting to the error room. So if we get to use it 3 times, I mean, I know how, I know probability doesn't work exactly like that. But if we use it three times and it doesn't pay out, I'd be mad. Bloody Lust is really good. I don't want to fight the boss yet. I don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, baby, and I don't want to miss a thing. Lemon Mishap. This is not a good item. Uh, well, I mean, it's all right. It's not good for us in our current situation. Oh, let's get... Uh... No, no, no. You don't understand. Yeah, this is perfect. Kill Sloth last. Oh, we died. We did get an item, though. Can we just, like, farm items out of this guy? No, we cannot. The virus. Uh, let's virus is fine. Let's get demon tail. It allows us to um, get black hearts at the cost of never getting red hearts or spirit hearts again. I think, but we don't have like the relic or the miter, so I don't think it really matters. All right, another spirit heart here or a Bob item, please. Bob's curse, undefined. There we go. It's the error room again. The compass. Judas's Shadow. That means when we die, we'll come back a little stronger, which is great for us. This run's getting... It's starting to steamroll. I like it. Unfortunately, we cannot open uh, any of these chests. So I guess, you know, unfortunately, we're just stuck with the curse every single time because that's, you know, what we're re-rolling. Fire Mine. This is a great item. We do have to be a little careful. Um, like, because BBF just explodes right off the bat. <laughs> And we get fire mine is going to explode too. Originally, I thought that's what killed us, but no, it was it was BBF exploding, which is fine. You know that's that's going to happen from time to time. I'm an idiot. Judas the Shadow is going to be our last life. Don't don't worry so much about this. This is not a big deal right now. Keep forgetting that creep is actually mine. The green creep is not though. Okay, good. That room should not be as difficult as it was for me there, but hey, that's why we got extra lives. You know, we can survive. That was a little scary. Don't even fire your brimstone bullshit at me. I'll be mad. I will be perturbed. Keys. Keys. Man. I mean, this would be a lot better if we had picked up a skeleton key at some point. Can't always get what you want, though. Two free items, you know, every floor is also still pretty sweet. We still have seven lives to go on here. It is a... Oh, there we go. It is a theoretical possibility that one truly terrible room could just screw us, but hey. Let's hope we don't come across one truly terrible room. This is not that truly terrible room, by the way. Just a pretty bold misplay on my own behalf there. Come on, though. 
I, I know I can go around this room, but the double super rats shouldn't be that bad. How am I this slow is what I'm trying to get at. Oh my god. There we go. We, we made it out of the danger zone. Are you kidding me? At least we killed it. We killed it. Okay. That's good. Still three lives left. This is fine. I'm not nervous. Not at all. Juicy sack. Sticky babies. Nick's favorite. Well, we're slow, so we should throw some bombs down to slow those guys down. Uh, and then we'll pick up that... That pill is bad trip, so... Eh, probably not that useful for us right now. This is not the error room. That's okay. Damage, you know, balling pretty out of control here. Monstro's lung. I love it. A lot of people dislike it. I like it a lot. With my reflection, it just lasts forever. The shots, that is. The sun card could be useful. Spider's doing real work here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Another Bob item. It's Bob's curse again? I didn't know that could happen. Well, we are coming down to the wire here just a little bit, but that's okay. I'm so sorry, little chub. It's not even fair, really. Thunder thighs. Hey, that's pretty good. The speed down sucks pretty hard, but... This is not an error room. This is our second secret room. Uh, we still could get another chest. I owe it to myself to try. And when we get Judas' shadow, then we'll come into that, uh, that blue baby fight. We could lose, by the way. I don't think we're going to, because our damage is kind of out of control. But we, we still could lose, no question about it. It is pretty nice to one-shot everything, though. Even if we don't get, um... Don't let him get you. Even if we don't get the error room, we could at least get more keys. There you go. We'll bring those back when we uh, head back to that side of the map. Alright, I like a slow room. More as much as anybody does. This will almost certainly be our last reroll attempt. So I'm, I appreciate those keys actually dropping here. Okay. Oh, thank god, it's famine. And it, let's just pop it. We'll have these keys for the next floor. Oh, no, that's gonna do it then. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna have to finish this run here. I well, I'm not gonna apologize because I, I mean I tried, right? But uh, that's that's on to find for you. It turned our good run into uh, well, a, you could maybe say it's worse. We have a lot less HP, that's for sure. But certainly a uh, zany run, no question about it. Picked up Robo Baby and Aquarius. Those are not game winners. We have a bad trip and a sun card, which means... Well, I wish we could carry both, but there's no item that allows us to do that. Um, we can, uh, at least, if we get hit once, we can heal once. We won't have any permanent Polaroid invincibility. I don't think we'll need it because of our spiders, BBF, little chub, etc, etc. Also, the exceptional damage that we do with, like, several damage over time effects. Yeah, that was very easy at the end. What a cool run. I had a good time that time. I hope you had a good time as well. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.